all right welcome back to ghost time hustles channel if you are new here this is where we cover everything related to digital hustling tools tips and strategies to help you stay ahead in the online game today i've got something really interesting for you we are diving into a new anti-detect browser called dicklock now i know what you are thinking oh just another anti-detect browser review but trust me, Dicklock isn't just another tool that changes your fingerprint or hides your IP. This one goes way beyond that. It's basically an all-in-one solution for anonymity and privacy online, managing multiple accounts without getting flagged, running stilt operations for marketing automation or testing, and even team collaboration features which is something most browsers in the space don't offer. So whether you are into e-commerce, affiliate marketing, crypto, social media management, survey, or you just need to separate your online identity, this might be the browser that makes your life a lot easier. But hey, don't just take my word for it. I'm going to show you everything step by step. We will cover how to create an account on Dicklock, how to set up and configure proxies, how to create browser profiles with custom fingerprints, and I will walk you through some special features that you won't find in any anti-detect browser out there. So grab a coffee, sit back and stick with me because I'm about to show you exactly how Dicklock works from the inside let's dive in all right first thing first is to create an account but don't worry i have a good news for you this video was sponsored by dicklock so i have a discount link a discounted link to use which is my promo code if you use it you are going to get a 10 percent discount on all your purchase so i will use the i will drop the link in the description so after watching this video or anytime you feel like you can just click the link and start the sign up process so i will just copy the link and paste it here so i've copied the link i'll just paste it here and boom so you can see ghost times hustle so so assuming you've used my link then this is where you are so you are to land and you have to you have to create your account you put your email your password put your email and password then you click on no 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 just click on here sign up sorry for that since you don't have an account already you can just click on here and sign up then you put your email then immediately you put your email you click on get code then you check your email you get the code and input the code then put your password and you can see this is the referral code, which is also the promo code. Using this link will give you a 10% discount on all your purchases. But if you just go directly, you are not going to get any discount. So after creating an account, you can use, you can download it to your operating system. So, assuming you are done with everything, setting up your account. Now let's navigate to the dashboard and show you how all of them works. So I've downloaded it and. I'm currently launching the software. So, immediately you launch the app, this is how the interface looks like. So, at the left hand side, you are going to see everything to work with. So, this is our profile. The first thing you see is our profile. So, if you've been following my video, you will know how to get your proxy to set up your profile. So, let's assume, okay, just Check the video. I, I will link it in this and the description below. You see the video how to get a proxy from any of the proxy providers. Then how to set up. So we'll be focusing on how to set it up on this uh, on Dicklock. So first thing first, you click on create profile. Create profile. Assuming if you've bought your proxy. So let's just name this site for demonstration. Demo demonstration demonstration purpose sorry 
demo just for demo and now we are going to use our custom proxy that we bought so we'll click on custom okay now let's assume you've purchased a proxy from the video or you know how to get a proxy but if you don't know how to get a proxy you can just check in this description i will link the video or you just if you didn't see the video in the description you can just check my channel you see the video where i show you guys how to get your proxy and the other proxy provider so let's assume you are here now so we are going to select anyone if you what for http https sox5 and the rest you can so for this video i'll be using sox5 which is very strong which of the ip protocol you use is it ip4 or ip6 so we'll be using ipv4 so let's uh, paste our host here our host, which is our ip address so I've copied them already so i'll just paste it and my proxy port which is the four digits i will use the proxy port and my account which is please enter the uh, proxy account so this should be your login details your login not your or your username i would i'll call it your login or your username based on different platform how they call it so login or username so i have it already so i'll just go navigate to it and paste it and i also have my password i will just go and paste the password yeah so i say ip lookup channel that, that is not really necessary it's not really necessary so once you are done setting it up you can go for that you can either check the proxy to confirm if it is correct so let's just check it to make sure we are on the right track Let's check that. Once you are done, yeah, you can see connection test succeeded. IP days, country, United States and state, New York, city, New York, time zone, American New York. So that was success. It was success, uh, successful. So let's go with um, our profile remarks. Please enter your profile enter your remarks so this is just something you just want to give it not really necessary so the group you want to group it with other profile or just want to leave it like that not really necessary so let's go with our fingerprint this is where we we'll go to set to our operating system the operating system we want so let's assume we want it to be um to use the windows we can just leave it like this we want to use mac os we can just uh, use it like this want to set it to um, Android or want Linux so for this uh, video we'll be using the Windows so you can select either Windows 10 Windows 11 Windows 8 and Windows 7 so I'll just leave it as the way it is all version for this you can also leave it as all version for Android and leave it as all version so depending on your needs so let's say the user agent now we've already set it Yes, let's leave it to all version based on what we've set already. So we can see it's now if we launch this um, profile, it's going to use Mozilla 501. Yeah, Mozilla 5.1, Windows Windows 10, uh, Win 64, which is uh, 64 bit, and the rest. So that's our fingerprint. So we'll just click on here confirm it if you want the language based on the ip machine maybe if you launch the website if you launch it maybe let's say you launch it in, in another language or let's say you launch it in france then the the ip or let me say the language is going to match the ip so the browser will be using a um, french language so but if you want it to be custom you can just set it custom and leave it to be and um, english which is united states so let's just leave it as ip match and let's confirm it so that profile is set up so we just want to run just open it here so we can see it here that it is open and if we check it we can see this is oh i'll go back to this this are just extension so you can see that we are here everything we need everything we need we can browse it so if we if we check our ip to confirm that actually we are on the right track we just check ip info and let's check our ip info and we can see our ip here 
search any IP. My IP, yeah. Let's use my IP. And you can see it here is set to United States with this IP address. With this IP address, New York City, New York, United States. So that's how it works. Let's go over to other features that this browser provides. And now you can see that we'll stop it. So with this plan, I have over, you can set this 50,000 plus to open it and it's set to about 100 profiles. You can open 100 profiles and the rest. So let's move over to the let's we've just skip that i just show you guys how proxy works and let's talk about the extension so these are the um, extension have added so far if i just click on it that's why you see when i open the browser you see that this uh, extension come up so this browser come with various extensions so you can also use your own custom extension with it so you can see all the extension you want to add if you just click on add anytime you open any profile it will included to show as the extension just as what you always see on your um on chrome so these are my extension i've added so far so if i want to add more i will just if i want to add another extension i'll just click on um i'll just click on add this one cookies editor so cookies manager i'll just click on it i just leave it like that and custom manually just do it like that way and let's click on confirm and it has been added successfully so let's go over to group this is if i want to group the, them if i want to group the profiles you can see it is on group but if i want to group it i can just group it here so go on trash that's what you've deleted so far that doesn't really matter so let's go on the automation page where most browsers do not have most browsers don't come with so let's talk about the um the rpa tax let's go on the rpa tax sorry guys so you have to if you want an rpa tax you will just see it here so what is an rpa tax you can see most of these things that are done automatically now they are automated these are automated tax so you can see if you want to maybe automate website traffic but how to use it i'll just click on it but we are not going to be covering how to use all this stuff in this video so you can see which browser which profile you want to choose let me see i want to choose this one and i've selected one profile and continue so keyword of the website if you want traffic to the website and this will just look like and um, let me say it will just look like um organic traffic so it will search it based on the website traffic will come based on the keywords which is what um, google use we also target the site which is the website url also run the action if is it to scroll or to just maybe random click if you need that we also say the run time how many minutes you want it to run so let's say 10 minutes you, you understand so if you want me to cover this um, section or all this um, automation tools in my next video don't forget to drop it in the um, description below so i will show you guys how to do it sorry don't forget to drop it in the comment section ask your question in the comment section as well so i will know if i'm to cover this any of these two in my next video or we should not cover it so drop your opinion in the uh, comment section so ai laura so let me say ai laura so you can see here we want to paste the website url i'm not going to cover this on this uh, site i'm not going to cover this on this side so if you can see i've done one uh, i've closed one website so what you want it to do you can just write your prompt here in the rest. so if you want me to cover all of this in my next video don't forget to comment it in the description below so let's go over you can see that no matter the amount this um it's worth it it's worth it so um so this is all what you need to know about this i'm not going to cover everything now but if you want me to cover any aspect based on the automation or anything or you have any question just ask drop it in the comment section and i'll be able to 
answer you so thank you guys once again and don't forget that this video was sponsored by the club so i have a discount and uh, link in the description below so when you want to use it you can just click on it and use it so thank you guys see you guys in my next video